Hey y'all, it's Courtney, and I was not going to make the second part of this video, wasn't going to do it, but I am now, and there is a reason, so stay tuned, and I will show you the reason. Um, so this is the second part, I was going to go ahead and make my hater video today, um, I am still going to make that, I'm just going to make it tomorrow, but I want to make this video because... I want to give something to you guys. So anyways, um, so this is part two to, um, what I got for Christmas. Um, I love like surprise things. And, uh, so my husband got me these and this is one of them. It came with like 30, uh, chokers. Um, there's this one. And I love them because they're, yes, they're, like, cheaply made and whatever, um, but that's, oh, I like that one, it's got a triangle in it, that's cool, um, but they're little chokers, like, all chokers are cheaply made, you know what I mean? So, why buy one for, like, ten dollars when you can get, like, fifty for ten dollars? And they're going to be made the same. You know what I mean? If you buy them in bulk, then you're getting a better deal. That one. Oh, I like this one. I don't know if you can really see the detail. Hold on, Autumn. This one's got two strands and then like a, a club or a spade. A club, I think. This one is velvet with a little black bead. Hold on, guys. Autumn's yelling. Alright, she dropped me nuts. My lipstick looks really stupid, yet kind of good. Like, it looks stupid close up, but far away it looks kind of good. I tried to go for that, like, um, dark on the out, out, outer corners, and then, like, lighter in the middle. I use this. This is just, like, a dollar store brand lipstick. I don't even know where the other one went, but it's the darkest one of these it's like the like black cherry that's what i would describe it as like a black cherry type oh there it is um that's on the outer corner this one and i gave some of these to patients too this one i like to have a choker to oh oh okay this is one of those ones that were popular like last year you, like, tie them around your neck and then just leave them hang down. That's cool, though. I never had one of those. This one's little flowers. This one's just two strands, plain one. Um, this one's got, like, little fringe danglies on it. Olive green velvet. Uh, this one. And then I have, like, a blue. Oh, there. Okay. There's the blue velvet one. There's a pink velvet one. Um, this gray velvet one, and there's like a mustard yellow velvet one as well. Um, so clearly th there's a few of them that I put to the side somewhere. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. And then there's all of these blue, red, purple, brown, light, the sky blue, black, lime green, uh, clear, pink yellow there's two green ones in there but yeah um and oh and then there's one um i already took it out of there where's it at i don't know but it's like um kind of almost like tie-dye looking it's like three or four different colors i think that's one of them too sky blue pink and yellow the other one's purple pink and yellow i think um so there's those and my mother-in-law, um, this is what my mother-in-law and her boyfriend got us. Um, these are, like, professional, um, WVU, like, sportswear. Um, I don't know another way to describe it. Um, this one's Mike's. And this one is mine. I'm glad that mine has, like, the zipper instead of the two little snap buttons. I, I wasn't really a fan of that. 
West Virginia is like the only place in the world that like everybody owns at least five or ten WVU items. Um, it's so weird. Like that's not I don't think that that's a normal thing, but like for some reason West Virginia is like so proud um of our college. I I don't know. I mean, I guess that's probably because that's like the biggest thing we have really. Um but yeah, everybody here has like at least two or three West Virginia shirts or um we've got a sticker on our car. We've got we've got all kinds of shit. Um I even have a pair of WVU flip-flops. Oh, and that's the other thing I want to show you guys. I'm wearing them. I've worn these since the moment that I opened them, so they're already a little bit dirty. But my little wolf slippers. I love them so much. My um, Mike knows that I love house shoes. I wear shoes all the time because we have hardwood floors um, throughout our whole house. Uh, we have a area rug in the in the living room and um, a little square of carpet in the kitchen where I stand to cook. But other than that, everything is hardwood, wood, and tile. So I like to wear shoes or house shoes all the time. And then this is the last thing. And once again, he knows that, you know, he knows that I like surprise things. So he saw it said, um, gypsy, hippie, goth, um, just like every single alternative descriptor that you can think of. And, you know, that's like me all put together, like hippie, gypsy, fucking emo, alternative. Like, I like all of those things. Um... So, yeah. So, this whole ring set. Um, shit. Why does that keep happening to me? Um, is it still on? Please say it's still running. Okay, yes. Okay, so, um, here is what I wanted to talk about, though. So, a lot of these are really tiny. Um, they're supposed to be for, um, all of your joints on your fingers, which I love because I love... Um, even before I got these, I have always worn rings on both joints of my fingers. Um, this is one of them. Oh, it's not on right. I love how it's like a V shape. That's so cool. I've never had a ring like that. Um, but this is one of them. This is one of them. Oh, this one looks like a lotus flower. Um, sorry. Oh, this one kind of reminds me these two kind of remind me of each other but I like them both a lot um so yeah so there's a ton of these and thing is is I'm just never gonna wear all of them um I picked out some of them that I really like and I really think that I'll wear I'll show you guys a couple of those um so Oh, here's another one that I've been wearing. Um, I don't know why I took it off, but I did. Oh, it's stuck on my finger. My joint must be swollen. Well, I know they're swollen, actually. But whatever. It's this one. Um, so, I don't even know why I put this one in there, because I won't wear this one. Um... This one has little moons and stars on it. Punky, I'm getting ready to make food. What are you making? Chicken salad. So don't ruin your uh, appetite. Okay. Says, uh, hand, hand in hand into the ocean blue. That's pretty cool. I've never, I, do you guys know what that saying is? I think that's what it says. Hand in hand into the ocean blue. I looked at it for like 10 minutes last night and was trying to figure out what it said. Um, but I like that one. I like that one. I like this one with the elephants on it. Um, I like this one. Reminds me of, like, Celtic style. I really like this one. Um, those. Uh, this, of course. I wear, I wear my, um, Oh my gosh, you guys know what it is. Clotta. I wear my Clotta every day. Um, 
that's a tiny bird. I think I might use this one as a toe ring. Um, but yeah, so, oh, here's like a little sun. Um, this one's cool looking. It reminds me of like a moon shape. Obviously, it's not really a moon shape, but that's kind of what it reminds me of. Um, this one. This one is really cool. It's got like cutouts all through it. But anyways, um, that's not even why I wanted to show you guys this stuff. Uh, the, really, the reason why I wanted to do the second part of this was because I wanted to give something to you guys. Um, you know, some of you have sent me things, and um, I've just appreciated so much any time that somebody takes the time and the effort to send me something sweet and kind. And um, I want to do that for you guys. So... Some of these are really tiny, so if you have small fingers, or, I mean, some of them aren't. That one's, like, a six, I would say. This one's, like, a six or a seven. Um, that one's bigger. But then there's also some that are teeny tiny. Um, let me find a really small one. Well, most of them, I guess, are... I have big fingers. I mean... This one says dream, but it's so tiny. So if you like pinky rings or if you just want something because, because you're my friend and you want something from me uh, to you just to have, let me know. Um, eh, starting to peel. Uh, and I would be more than happy to send you one of these. I mean, obviously I only have so many. Um, but the ones that I'm not going to wear, I would much rather send to you guys than hold on to them and then not get any use. You know what I mean? I love this one. Well, some flowers. Um, but I think it might be too. Well, no, no, that one actually fits me. Um, a lot of these actually fit me, but I just know that I'm not going to wear all of them. So... If one of you guys can get some wearing out of them, uh, I would love to send you one. Um, of course, you're going to have to give me your address. Uh, but anybody that knows me knows that I would never divulge anybody's information. You can ask anybody that I've been friends with on here for a really long time. I would never do that. Um, so yeah, if you guys are interested, let me know. And I would be more than happy to send you a ring. Uh, anybody a Pisces out there? Because I have a Pisces ring. I don't even know why they sent that. Like one horoscope or one um, astrological. And it was a Pisces. So I just, it's really cool. I don't know. And I like being surprised. So I feel like maybe you guys would like a little surprise in the mail too. You know? Um, so yeah, if you're interested in that, let me know. Um, if you don't have a Twitter or something, um, I could give you my email or whatever and let's get this, let's get this thing going because, uh, I would love to send you something, um, to show you guys how much I care about you, just like you, some of you guys have sent me things, um, and I appreciate it so much. Um, I just want to return the favor, so let me know if you're interested. If not, if you're not comfortable giving me your address, that's perfectly fine too. I understand. Um, or if you have a P.O. box, that would probably be even better. Um, if you have a P.O. box. So anyways, guys, yeah. Um, like I said, I wasn't going to make the rest of this video, but then I realized that I didn't even get to say the one thing I really wanted to say. I mean, there's, there's a good bit in there. So I swear there was just a spider crawling. Um, but yeah, so that's what I got for Christmas, and I would like to send you guys a little something for Christmas. If you, um, are interested, let me know. Uh, I will be coming out with my video tomorrow, though, um, my hater video. Um, because I just want, I just have some views on that, and I really want, oh my gosh, I like this stuff. But as soon as it's on the inside of your lip, it starts peeling. It doesn't want to stick to anywhere but, like, on the outside of your lips. Anywhere where it's wet on your lips, it doesn't want to stick. Um, but yeah, guys, so, um, I'm going to make that video. 
Um, but I just wanted to get this one out first. Uh, hopefully the comment section is not shut off on this. I don't know why they keep shutting off my comment section. There was nothing child friendly about my last video. So, cause that's what I was saying for a while was like, oh, well maybe the last one it was because there was toys in it. So they thought that it was aimed towards kids. But like my last video had n nothing childlike in it. So I, I don't, I don't know. Um, YouTube. Please stop shutting off my comment section. Uh, I don't appreciate it. I am a frigging adult, and I only um, cater to an adult audience. Uh, kids, stay out, please. And I don't mean that disrespectfully, but I don't want there being any um, child activity in my... Um, oh my gosh, what's that called? Um, st or not statistics... You guys know what I'm talking about, like when it shows the percentages of the age ranges that watch you. I don't, I think I have like 2% under 18 and that's it. So like, I don't know how they would get that my channel is child friendly at all. No children watch me, so I don't know. Anyways guys, I hope you all have a wonderful new year. Um, if I, I'm sure I'll see you before then, but, um, I love you guys. I'm rambling now, so I'm just going to stop this video or I will never stop rambling. <laughs> Bye.